Let's grab a word with Dr. George Ray, Chairman of the British Medical Association in the North East. Good morning. Yes, indeed. Uh, good morning. Right. Give us the science bit, Dr. Ray. And uh, with regard to these e-cigarettes, how dangerous could they be? Well, I think one of the points about e-cigarettes is, firstly, they're not regulated. And that's the concern that I, as a professional, and most professionals have. But you've got to realise that there are chemicals uh, within e-cigarettes, particularly uh, a group of chemicals called nitrosamines. And nitrosamines actually can cause cancer. They can be even more cancer-forming than what you're getting uh, within uh, cigarettes themselves. So there is the worry about that. And the fact that they're not regulated and you can go to uh, sort of outlets and get e-cigarettes, obviously, as a doctor, that is causing me concern uh, because there is the perception by obviously many people that, well, I'm not smoking cigarettes, which mm. has got tan, which has got nicotine, and therefore this is a safe substitute. Well, I think what has got to be coming across loud and clear, and certainly I've been on the airwaves before in previous months and so forth, and other doctors saying, look, hang on, this isn't the case. There are chemicals uh, within those e-cigarettes. They are serious chemicals. I've given you one example of the nitrosamines. And the fact that now almost you're making... Uh, you know, cigarette smoking, the, 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 the actual act of having something in between your fingers and putting it up to your mouth and, and smoking it and almost glamorizing it, making it acceptable, making it something you can actually do is inherently dangerous because I think I just picked up from what Alfie said there. I mean, it's not inconceivable that uh, a number of younger people who are smoking e-cigarettes can then go on to actually smoking cigarettes per se and so forth. So there are lots and lots of concerns about e-cigarettes and I don't think you would get many, if indeed any, doctors uh, coming on to the radio and saying, look, it's okay, they're an acceptable substitute and let's just go with it. I, I think nothing could be further from the truth. We often hear of, of tar, you know, in, in the advertisements from years ago, really, it's all about the tar causing the problems. But with the e-cigarettes, if there's different, different types of chemicals, by the sounds of it, they can cause the same types of problems. Absolutely. No, the, 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 there's absolutely no doubt about that at all. And that, that, that is the whole point, is that they are being marketed as uh, something which is safe and something which is a safe substitute. And that's not the reality. I don't think there have been many clinical trials done on e-cigarettes. And anyway, doctors wouldn't get involved in anything which wasn't regulated. In other words, you know, you can only get them from uh, outlets such as, for example, uh, pharmacists, whereby we know what is actually in the e-cigarettes. We know the concentration of whatever is in the e-cigarettes and so forth. But you know only too well that there are many places where youngsters and people generally can go and get e-cigarettes. And at the end of the day, regulation really must um, come in. But there is massive concern within the medical profession about the acceptability that seems to be coming across amongst many people who are not aware of what's in e-cigarettes, the, the, the feeling that it's acceptable and it's a safe substitute to use those if you're wanting to give up cigarette smoking. That said, Dr George, this, this, we've had uh, campaigners on before, very committed to, to this cause, and one of their arguments is surely it's better than the alternative. It's certainly more pleasant than the alternative. Um, and, yeah, we probably do have a long way to go before we've, we know all the research and know everything, but surely it's better than the alternative. Well, actually, Alfie, I've just actually said that it's not. I mean, I can't talk about the pleasantness because... <laughs> I, I don't smoke myself, and I don't know what it's like to smoke a cigarette or even... Indeed no, no, I don't, I don't mean the experience. I mean, you know, no, pass no, no, passively no, no. from just, just... My mother, for instance, smokes one. She used to smoke like a chimney, and it yeah. wasn't pleasant. Now I don't particularly mind being around her when she's smoking these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, right, well, that's what you're talking about as far as the pleasantness is mm. concerned. But it, no, it's not better, because what I'm actually trying to get across, and I'll say it again there are potentially more cancer-forming chemicals within e-cigarettes than you've actually got in cigarettes per se themselves. Now, nobody's going to come on to the air and say, but, you know, that is better for you. It's not. It's actually a bit of a time bomb that people are actually unaware of. So I think that you're not going to find the medical profession relenting uh, on the message that we're trying to get across about uh, e-cigarettes. Do you have patients coming into the surgery who have gone down the e-cigarette route in order to stop smoking? 
uh, yes, traditional I, cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have had the occasional patient coming in, but to be honest, not a lot. They don't, they don't tell me that. We, we're still, uh, you know, every week we'll be getting patients coming in and as soon as, you know, as a doctor, we'll ask, particularly with medical conditions, if they've got chronic obstructive airways disease and so on, the obvious question is, you know, do you smoke cigarettes? If people, young people are having missed heartbeats, do you smoke cigarettes? Because mm-hmm. that's one of the most common reasons for people having missed heartbeats. Uh, and if they do, they're usually honest. They're not, to be honest. Many people, there's the occasional person who will say that I smoke e-cigarettes, but my job as a doctor is to, you know, encourage them to give up cigarette smoking by the traditional ways, which uh, uh, are, are pretty successful, the patches, uh, sometimes tablets and so forth. Thanks very much. That's Dr George Ray, Chairman of the British Medical Association in the North East, giving us the doctor's medical perspective. And pretty clear he mm-hmm. was on his guidance there. Um, your thoughts on what you've just heard? Oh.